All right, it's February, and it's time to open up our Maker Geeks 3D Geek Box. All right, let's go ahead and get unboxing this 3D Geek Box for February. We'll go ahead and cut it open with our hobby knife. Of course, I'm cutting towards myself there. Shouldn't be doing that. That's okay. Just be safe. Let's see what we've got this month. Ooh. This month's print looks pretty awesome. So first we've got a bag on top with a different sticker this month. This is a Print Happy Maker Geeks logo. Print Happy. And we also have a 3D Geek Box logo sticker. Looks like a sticker. Yeah, it's a sticker. And then we have something a little different. They sent... Doesn't look like a tool this month. It looks like some ball bearings. Four of them. Four ball bearings. Interesting. Let's go ahead and put those up here. We'll take a look what they're for. They are Frigid February. All right, so we've got four high-speed skateboard bearings. And then the toy or print they have listed this month is a fidget toy, which I'm definitely going to print out and see how that works in both filaments. But that's what the uh, ball bearings are for. And then we, of course, got our coupon for this month, which uh, is actually 18%. So that's pretty good. And we've got our filament. So let's see what we've got in here for that. I, of course, ordered the 1.75 millimeter filament. And this is Maker Series PLA Nuclear Green. That is a bright green. Can you see that logo right there? Nuclear green, that is cool. And they did switch their bags this month to a new type of resealable. And I definitely say it looks a lot better than last month's. So definitely an improvement there. And if I'm not mistaken, the roll has also changed. So before you had the rolls, which I have on the machine right now, that are intended on one side and are kind of off balance, I would say. But this is a, this is a more of a balanced roll. So it should fit on the printer a lot easier with more of a standard size. So we'll go ahead and put that down and we'll check out our next roll. This one looks cool. So another Maker Series PLA and a Raptor Series PLA. And if I remember right, this has some neat properties that we can test out uh, after you print. So we'll check that out and do some unique printing with that. This is also one point 75 millimeter. This is a HD Battleship Gray. So if you can see that, nice gray. And there is the logo. And same thing, different spool than they used to do. And I, I tell you, it does look a lot better on the spool for balancing it when I uh, when I put it on the back on my spindle holder. And that is what we have. So two rolls of filament, Battleship Gray Raptor Series and Maker Series Nuclear Green along with some skate bearings that we'll try out and make a fidget toy. So let me get to the computer and bring something up and get to printing. Okay, it's been a couple days and I've printed some items out with the February Maker Geeks 3D Geek Box filaments. And we have, of course, the Raptor Series PLA. And this Raptor Series itself, I will have one note on that. It sticks incredibly well to a glass print bed. So be careful. Um, removing prints with this was difficult if you had a large flat area on the glass print bread. Uh, the regular Maker Series PLA, same thing as all the other PLAs, shouldn't be a problem removing it at all. Uh, I did print out right after the first part of this video, these two guys from Chaos Cortex, and I'll put a link to their file below but I had some settings issues with the tips and they kind of 
gooped up and melted on me, as you can see there. So I wasn't satisfied with that at all. I went back and changed some settings and ended up with this little guy. And the tip is almost perfect. So he looks pretty cool. But we also wanted to do the prints that were recommended in the Maker Geeks 3 Geek Box sheet for this month. And that was this, the fidget toy, with, of course, the skate bearings that it came with and your holder for the middle. So two little pieces for the center bearing. And then, of course, the triple outside and single inside. So I actually liked all the colors, of course, the new green, and I made this guy right here. Let's glued him together with some super glue in the middle so that I can hold this and it won't come off. And all you do, just spin it. Now they did recommend to use some acetone to soak the bearing to make it go faster. I have not done that yet. I'll probably test it out and see what the difference is. Maybe I'll make a video on that and some other fidget toys if you want. Go ahead and post a comment below, let me know, or hit like and subscribe. So that's that guy. It's actually pretty nice. It spins pretty well. A little out of balance though, it seems. Then it comes back. But that guy worked out pretty well, pretty nice. Keep in mind, I uh, recommend uh, five solid top layers is what I had to do to get it to come out pretty decent. And then I decided to print something out in the Battleship Gray, uh, one of the bigger prints. Maxed out the print volume on this particular printer. And I got this guy to come out. And of course, this needs no introduction. I'll also put the link to the file but it printed pretty well. Uh, this was at a 0.1 layer height and the recommended temperature of, what was it? 245 degrees Celsius. Took 15 hours to print and I was worried. I tried to print at a 0.8, or not 0.8, but 0.08 resolution and that did not work for layer height. But point, uh, or yeah, 0.1 worked with no problems. And there's pretty good detail on this print here, including the cockpit. Little seats in there. It came out really nice, as you can see. And also it's got the landing gear on the bottom. I'll show you that from the side so you can see it's adjusted from. Pretty nice. And you should be able to see right through, let me move my hand, right through the center there. But it's uh, clear through the center right where the turrets are which is really cool too. But uh, this guy actually prints one end just like that. I used a, uh, because of the sticking issues with the uh, Raptor PLA, where it was very hard if there was a solid surface on the glass print bed, I used a raft to allow for a split surface area. Because of course with the raft, the first layer is a line, the space, line, space. So that allowed me to peel it off the print bed very easily. So with the Raptor PLA, a raft might be a good idea unless you use some sort of surface other than glass if you're doing a larger print. Now I really like this and I'm probably going to use the Battleship Gray for some more ship models. Uh, I don't know which one's next but I definitely will try it out. I have a uh, big project coming up with uh, 3D printing. I ordered quite a few items and I'll make a video for introduction as soon as I get the last few items in for that. And that's gonna be a multi-part uh, series on building something. So we'll see where that comes out. Uh, not sure yet, I'm waiting for some parts, of course, from China. Um, another thing, I might not have a video every week right now, uh, going through some midterms, and that's uh, taking up a lot of my time. So that's gotta come first, unfortunately. The YouTube channel is second. So we'll see how that goes. But once that clears up, we'll be back to making at least a video a week and we'll see what we, uh, what we go for next. Let me know what you think, what you like. Go ahead and hit subscribe at the bottom, hit the like button. If you don't like it, hit the negative. Either way, it lets me know what's going on in your minds. So until next time, keep printing.